Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kat and today I'm going to show you 5 pages that you can do this holiday season in your bullet journal. This video is part of the series that I have on my channel called bullet journal ideas. It's a playlist that I created with different videos four years ago and I just never continued the series until now so I'm going to link the playlist down below if you want to watch it. I have a few videos already made. They are really old but I plan to update them all so if you want any type of bullet journal ideas videos let me know in the comments below. I have this one today and I have another one coming up in a few weeks so let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see. Subscribe to my channel and let's get started. And yes, I'm a little bit sick, so I'm here drinking my hot tea. Grab your tea or a coffee as well, and let's start planning for this holiday season in your bullet journal. And before I show you the pages in this video, I just want to mention that all the supplies that I'm using here are going to be linked in the description down below, but I'm going to be focusing on the holiday Christmas washi tapes from the washi tape shop. They were gifted to me, I used some in my December setup, and here I'm going to use the other ones. And you can use my code CAT10 for 10% off at the washi tape shop. The link is in the description down below. So the first page idea that I have for you is a Christmas shopping list. So this page is mainly for you to have a place where you put the present that you're going to give to someone and how much it costs. For me, I like to do this digitally on Notion, but a lot of people prefer to do it on paper. And I think that it's a really good page to include in your December or November setup if you do your Christmas shopping really up ahead. For the title, I'm using a red Crayola super tip, and in this video, besides giving you ideas for Christmas pages, I'm also going to show you different types of calligraphy that I do. I know that a lot of you don't know how to do calligraphy, and I have a video on my channel explaining how I do my calligraphy and how I started and how to practice, so I'm going to link it down below as well. But for this title, I actually did a normal calligraphy with the Crayola super tips. These markers are really affordable and good for practicing calligraphy. These are the ones that I recommend before you move into bigger pens like Tombos. So I did a simple calligraphy with a red pen and then I did a ombre effect on letters so they are going darker to lighter from top to bottom. And this is a really great title effect to do on your pages because it only takes one pen and some patience to do the ombre effect on the letters. For the subtitle I used the Notebook Therapy Alphabet stamps, the typewriter style, because these stamps are just so good. I use them in every single video that I do because I love these so much and you can use my code Cat's Planner for 10% off at Notebook Therapy. For the actual page I did a border around the table with an Arteza fine liner and then I did a little title for the column of who, what and the price. So these three columns, the who is obviously for the who you're buying the present for, the what is what the present is or different options that you have for someone and the price column is for you to write the price. So if you actually have a budget, maybe if you did Secret Santa with friends, you probably have a budget. So it's good to write here the budget for the present or the actual price. You can go a step further and add a total below the price column so you know how much you're spending on Christmas gifts this year. And for decoration, I'm using these stickers from the Washi Tape Shop's Washi Tape to decorate the bottom of the page. I really love these stickers because you can't really see the white borders around them and they are a little bit translucent so they are perfect to add some color to the page but not too much and they are not that thick so they are perfect to decorate your bullet journal with. The next page goes hand in hand with the Christmas shopping list page and it's a Christmas brainstorm page. For this page I decided to use this sticker set from the Inoki Into the Fall sticker insert and mix set of papers from Notebook Therapy. I really like this sticker set and it includes these four stickers to use in your journal. I never use these but I thought that they would be perfect for a Christmas brainstorm page related to money and presents. So the first sticker that I'm using on this page is the table that has a description and an amount and a section for if it's a want or if it's a need. And this table I would use to categorize the presents that I would want to receive for Christmas and to decide if it's a want or a need. And since this is a Christmas brainstorm page, I added the sticker that is a to-do list. So if you're like me and you want to prepare different things for Christmas, this sticker is just for that. It has a column for done section and another column 
for the tasks. And the last sticker that I'm going to use for this page is a saving tracker because if you're going to spend money on Christmas presents, you should save some money just for that. So you can decide on a budget for your Christmas presents and start saving money throughout the whole December or November and then spend all the money that you saved on Christmas presents. And this would motivate you to get people better things if you can, but to also save money. So I thought that these three stickers would go hand in hand with each other and for the whole decoration of the page I decided to go on the brown side and use the leaf stickers from the same sticker insert as the stickers and use the bunny stickers from one of the Christmas washi tapes from the washi tape shop and do a brown border around the page to complete it at all and to look a little bit more put together. The next page is a holiday bucket list. So I did a similar bucket list page for my December setup. If you haven't watched it already, I'm going to link it in the description below as well. But for Christmas, I did a bucket list in my journal, but this one is a little bit more complex. So for this page, I'm going to use these Christmas papers that I got recently. These are going to be included on my stationery bags for Christmas, so make sure to grab them if you want. The link for my coffee shop is at the description down below. But I'm going to use these as borders for the little lists that I'm going to do for the different sections of this holiday bucket list. So for my Christmas bucket list in my bullet journal, I didn't really divide it into sections, I just did a to-do list and a section for movies. But for this page, I'm actually doing a section for movies, another section for activities, another section for recipes, and another one for places. So you have different sections for the things that you want to do throughout Christmas. So movies, obviously you have to watch Christmas movies. I'm not a huge fan, but this year I'm going to try to watch them with my boyfriend. You have another section for activities, so if you want to go ice skating or try candy canes or try sledding this year, you can put it in this list. If you want to try different recipes, you can put it in here as well. And if you want to check out different places like a holiday market or something, you can put it in here as well. So this is basically a bucket list for Christmas and the new year. And I called it holiday bucket list because it's not necessarily for Christmas if you don't want to. You can use it all year round or just for the holiday season. As decoration, I went really bold and I just stamped a part of the washi tape shop's washi tape for Christmas that has a bunch of phrases and different decorations, house decorations that I find really simple and illustrative and I really like how it turned out on the page because you can't really see where the washi tape starts and I think that's one of the best things about their washi tapes. This page is really simple, but everyone needs a bucket list for the holiday season, so let me know if you have one, what things are you putting in there? The next page idea is more for the holiday and new year. It's not so much for Christmas, but I added a twist related to Christmas. So this page is a 25 things I'm grateful for. So for the whole month of December, you are going to write 25 things that you're grateful for from December 1st to Christmas, December 25th. I'm a huge fan of journaling and gratitude pages, so every time that I see a opportunity to fit one in, I use it because being grateful is really important, especially during the holiday season. You want to be grateful for your life and since the year is ending, it's a good way to reflect on the whole year and to write things that you're grateful for. So in this page, I did a simple title and then I used my very light blue Tombow Dual Brush Pen to highlight every other line. I think it just looks really pretty to have a color accent on the page, so I did just that. And here you have 25 lines to write the things you're grateful for throughout the month of December. As decoration, I used a more snowy, Christmas, wintry washi tape from the washi tape shops collection and I put them on the side so you have a space to write the things you're grateful for and then on the right you have decorations on the page if you don't want the whole line to occupy the whole page. And at the bottom I used two of those stickers to add a little bit more decoration to the bottom of the page. 
And the last page is mostly for fun. It doesn't bring any value or productivity wise things to your life, but it's just a countdown to Christmas because I see a lot of pages on Pinterest being a countdown to Christmas and I always find them so funny to use. It's a page that you put on a sticker or just paint or do a doodle for the 1st of December until Christmas. So you doodle 25 times or 24 times, depending on what day is Christmas for you. And you just add fun throughout the month of December, filling up this page. This is just a fun page to do throughout December. And if you want to doodle more throughout this month, you can actually doodle on the squares and have prompts if you want. It's like an Inktober type thing, but for Christmas. Or if you're like me and you're a little bit on the busy side, you can just add stickers every day until it's Christmas. All the stickers on this page are also from the washi tape shop and these were a little bit big but you can also make squares or circles or whatever you want to put your doodles in and I just feel like it's a really fun idea to do throughout the whole month of December. And you can also do this for the new year so instead of 24 days you would have 31 and you can also do this for your birthday if you want. It's a really fun page to do that fits all of the celebrations that you have in your life. So yeah, have fun with this page and do it your way. And those are my five bullet journal page ideas for this holiday season and for Christmas. Let me know in the comments what other fun pages you do and which one is your favorite and if you're going to include any of these in your bullet journal this year. Comment down below a snowflake if you watched the video until this point. Don't forget to check out my coffee shop. Thank you so much for my members on my coffee memberships for always supporting me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.